IC card and that is a artist trading card and uh, I used uh, the fabulous products from Lisa and um, they are miniature artworks that uh, are exchanged between artists and crafters and um, well they have some basic measure measurements the size is um, two and a half by three and a half inches and hi con lovely that you are joining me and um, the millimeters are 6.4 by 8.9 millimeters and uh, the artist traded cards are sold uh, not sold but just traded hi elizabeth um oh, i'm so glad that you are here <laughs> i hope it was easy to find now uh, the atc cards and um I made this one and this one I made a few, two years back with the lovely sugar and this one is also one of my makes from the Lisa Hortcrafts products and this is also an earlier one so they are really cute and lovely to collect from other artists that they make beautiful cute little cards and you can put them in an album um, they are the same size as the football or Pokemon cards and there are uh, some uh, pockets for them they fit in perfectly in that um, they have some those sheets I don't have it mostly I do something else with the ATC cards but I uh, store them in another way but um, well they trade them to show what you can create and you don't have to be a very very skilled artist or crafter um, but I think always it's the thing that you put some effort in it and love that makes an ATC card also beautiful so I think I am I hope I'm not not freezing because my screen is ah, there I am okay <laughs> So, I'm just going to show you a few ways to create ATC cards with the lovely products from Lisa Hortoncrafts. So you can see I used the washi tape sentiments on this one. And uh, the beautiful gnome. And also a piece of a die. The ATC card should um, not be uh, too thick. I have this little pocket here. When I trade a card, I'm always sending it in a piece of a plastic that will be uh, make sure the ATC card doesn't get damaged. And um, it always should fit in a pocket because if you make it too thick with lots of... Um, let's have a look if I have a flower. Oh no, not at the moment. But if you put some very big flowers on it and make it 3D, it doesn't fit in a pocket. So it has to be almost flat. So, and the next thing is, before I forget it, you always um, put the title on it. The artist, your name and the date that you made it. The theme and maybe country and also, you can add your Facebook, Instagram or email if you want to. It is not necessary to add that, but if you want to, you can do that. So, well, okay, I'm just going to show you a few ideas making an artist trading card. And let me see where I'm going to start. Yes, I got a ATC card. I cut them myself. So you can use cardstock paper and cut them in the sizes you need the two and a half and three and a half inches or 6.4 8.9 millimeters and i'm going to use some scraps because i have this little box with 
the scraps and a little bag and another bag so I'm just going to use that and I want to use this one the tulip and this little bug from the friends from the gnomes and friends and also the tape but I want to create a background so let me take a piece of other paper like this and I'm staying in the greens I think so the cracked pistachio let's have a look <coughs> Okay, and just create a background in any way you like. <coughs> um, there are some products that will be out of stock, but I will mm, add the list with products I've been using today that are in stock. So I will add them later to the live, so you can see what I used. So, and I think I will use a mm, 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 one of my stencils. Let's have a look what I will be adding. Lisa has some gorgeous stencils yes I really love this one. Oh yeah that, I mean this is a leftover from a card I made and I did cut them out of the frame but I wanted to use it for something else so I'm going to use it tonight. Let's have a look mm. yep I'm just going over with the crack pistachio again. It will build up. So, just like this. You can use any medium or any background you want. I'm going to show you a few. So, this is nice. And I can make the artist trading um, card horizontal or vertical so I'm just going to see what works better I think I will do it like this and then add this one yeah okay let's take some glue Hi Tina, let's have a look. Heidi, hi. <laughs> Heidi ho, Heidi hi. Catherine, oh nice that the people are joining. I'm sorry I've been a bit early tonight, but <clears throat> I have to go to a goodbye party from a friend. She is... Uh, going to work for some other company and we wanted to give her a good goodbye party so <laughs> I have to go over there later on so let's do it like this yes the excess oh Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to cut the edges in a moment. Just make sure it's straight. Like this. So, you always have to make sure there is nothing sticking over the edges. So, if you have that, it won't fit in the pocket. So, okay, now my fingers are sticky, <laughs> and this is a very simple one, um, the thing is with the ATC cards, I don't know if people have made them, but um, 
the ATC cards. Let me put this one over here. Talking and playing is not my not my thing sometimes. You can see that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, the ATC cards. Now I don't know what I wanted to say. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just a bit. Oh, yeah. I could do this one in 3D with foam dots. That would fit into a sleeve. But if you go higher than that, if you make really high things, then it doesn't fit. So I'm going to show you what you can do. But um, yeah, the ATC cards have to be um, made with some effort. Um, if you just take a ATC basic and you're going to stamp on it and uh, don't color it and put a sentiment on it and then give them it's not made with a lot of love. So just try to put some effort in it. Um, stamp on the ATC card. Make sure you have a little bit of a background and um, put some love in it. So, like this, I'm going to show you that it will fit into the pocket, like this. So, this will work, and this would make a nice ETC card. You can add some little, let's have a look if I have them here. Yes, you can add some uh, gems. Let me take my pickup tool. Let's have a look. I'm going to add a few gems. That's beautiful too. They are so lovely, the gems. I think we need more gems. More gemstones. I'm always in for more gemstones. <laughs> I don't know what you think about it, but... And I don't know if uh, there are people joining tonight that have made ATC cards before and traded them. Um, it's always lovely to have some beautiful, uh, different um, little art projects from someone. And to give back a beautiful, cute ATC card that presents what artist you you are. Okay, so this is okay. This can fit in a uh, pocket. And now I have a blank. And I will stick this one on later when I fill this in, the title, the date, the theme. And I use this to add on it. I'm going to stick it on the back. And then the ATC card will be ready to send to someone that wants to trade. And okay. So this is the first thing. Now you can use just um, the beautiful papers. These are from the last year's collection and I did cut the ATC card size the two and a half by three and a half inches and this one is just a tad smaller I don't know if you can see it it has a little edge on it and I think I will color the edge with a little bit of peel paint so you can see the edge also, like this. So it matches with the papers. And I think I'm going to do the paper also. And I'm going to make it a little bit vintage Christmas. Well, it doesn't have to be Christmas or winter. Because the paper is beautiful in its way to use like any other 
project or card. I think the roses and the pine cone are really beautiful. So I'm going to roughen up the edges like this. And then I will take my peeled paint and go over it. It gives it a bit of a rustic look. Let's blow away the... Yeah, like that. So you can see this is a basic ATC. And really easy to, to use, to make. And it doesn't have to be a very big project, but you can make it as big if you stamp on it and you are coloring in a lovely stamp. That's beautiful also. So, let's have a look. Well, this one. And let me see what I'm going to add to it. Let me see what I have here or there. Just have a look. <laughs> I got a lot of things. That one. So this is my scrap thing. Let's have a look what we have. I have so many scraps that I can make a lot of ATC cards. So. <laughs> Okay, let's put that over there. Ah. No, I don't think so. <laughs> so I think if I can cut out the rows, I'm going to add that rose to it. So it's not about uh, being a very professional artist. It's about creating and sharing. Yes. I'm going to add this one. If you want to know anything, I'm going to put the basics and the size of the ATC cards also um, on top of the video later, go to edit over here, just like this, and I will now, I also will make this one with a little bit of foam tape, and go to curl it up just a little bit to give it a bit of depth on the little ATC card. Not too much, because it will squash in the pocket if you do it too much. Well, let's have a look here, like this. And what will I do? Oh, let's grab yeah, some small... No. Let's add three. And get my pickup tool. Oh yeah. <laughs> so. So I don't know how many people there are here that made some ATC cards ever. And if you liked it to create them or like this. So this one is also ready. So you can see um, it doesn't have to take a lot of time. But you could 
put a lot of time in a little ATC card to create some different cards. And well, this one, and then I have a black one. Let's put them over there. And a part of the uh, mandala stamps. And this could be a black and white ATC. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look. Let's get it straight. Like this. You could color this um, with the beautiful uh, colored gel ink pens, but if I do that now, I will be coloring for a long time, and I think you know how to color it. So, or you could leave it in black and white. And I think this little cutie pie will fit on here also. Yes, like this. I'm going to stick this one here and also you can leave it in black and white but you can also color it like this so so this could be a ATC card also um, you can add a sentiment if you want or just leave it like this and I always create this card on the back to make sure people know where it came from and what date it was made the theme it is <clears throat> and sometimes if you make more cards in the same line if you make um, um, four cards with four quarters of the stamp from the mandala you can add um, the numbers on it then you have four cards then you do this one would be one then you do would um, add to it um, number one um, from four and then it's number two from four three from four and four from four so if you spread them over and exchange them with people with different people maybe sometimes they would say where's the other one and someone could place it on the internet and said i have one from four do you have the other ones and um, <clears throat> so they can see what cards and how many cards you made and how they look together so you can go any direction that you want let's have uh, look I did also take this one I embossed this little card and boom, boom, boom. what color should I use the salvage patina because the embossed ones will also fit into a pocket No. I'm going to add a little cracked pistachio. So let's see. Also, I'm going to do the edges. So if you like to exchange your little artworks and with the beautiful um, Lisa Horton Crafts products, just make some ATC cards and uh, exchange them with someone. Let's have a look. I'm going to use this one. Yeah, that's nice. So I'm just adding the 
the foam tape. Like this. And it's always lovely to receive some great, some lovely ATC cards and also to use up your scraps. So I stamped a few pictures and I colored them and that's good enough let's have a look mm -mm -mm. with love i like like that one because it's made with love like this so i'm going to stick it on a piece of cardstock because um, if I stick it right on the embossed paper it doesn't really um, stay there and I like it like this so So there's another one. You can see I colored them, but I don't color tonight because it takes a lot of time. So, and then I will be quiet a lot because if I'm coloring, I'm just thinking of nothing else but coloring. So, <clears throat> okay, I think I have shown you some different makes you can use this or you can create a piece of a background that you already had you can use that <clears throat> i embossed it also on um, on this let me see on the black cardstock where is my wax i'm going to show you with the wax yeah the wax I always use my finger so if you want to be make a little bit of a vintage look card uh, ATC card just use some waxes or some vintage colors on the white papers and that is beautiful also you can it doesn't have to be a very bright colored card it doesn't matter what you do, just create what you love to make <clears throat> and share it. Let's have a look. Yeah, I got this piece and maybe this. Let's have a look. I'm going to add a few things. Oh, no, this one. Just add a little bit of glue. Over there. Yes. I'm also going to stick this one to a card stock. Let's have a look. Yeah. And it will has to be black. I think. <laughs> I think so. Yes, that's better. Let's get a bit of dark card, ATC card. You could use the the die that belongs to this one. This is from uh, the nested. Uh, of the the flags dies with the 
the sentiments. So, that will take a moment. This one is a bit curled up, but it doesn't matter because I'm going to flatten it just a bit. So it will fit into a pocket like this. So, I don't see any comments, but... Ah, <laughs> now I see the comments. Hi. <laughs> Never made one. Yeah, it's, it's really uh, cute uh, to share those little projects and also to get rid of your little uh, leftover pieces. Let's have a look. Are uh, you inspire me? I think that one is beautiful. Also, I'm going to use you inspire me. These washi tape sentiments are really great. Let's have a look. Yeah, this one. Oh, dank je wel, Con. <laughs> Do you speak Dutch? That's so funny to see. <laughs> it's always so lovely that uh, there are a lot of people, uh, some people trying to understand and to talk Dutch. <laughs> Just like I talk English. But I mean, I we always get English as the basic language, uh, as one of the basic languages. Uh, here in our school, so we are growing up with English and Dutch is a different language to learn, so I can imagine that it would be difficult sometimes to understand if I talk Dutch. So, okay, let me take this to the side and all the mess that I made. <laughs> I'm going to show you the cards that I made tonight. Let's have a look. Yeah. Okay. So you can see they are all different from each other. Let's have a look if I can get them all in the. Let's do it like this. And then I will add my older one. This one I made a long time ago. So, yes. And this one also. So you can see, you can use up the scraps that you have, little pieces of paper and color. This one is colored in also, and I stamped on this one. This one is stamped also with a background that I made with uh, the jelly plates. <coughs> This one is also made with a stamp and uh, a cute piece of paper and some little diamonds here. So, so you can see you can go everywhere. <laughs> and um, I will make sure to add the products to the list, what I use and what is in stock. And also the sizes of the cards. And if you got any questions about the ATC cards or making them or anything, just ask me and uh, I will reply to that and uh, well maybe you want to uh, to exchange a ATC card or anything so just um, let me know <laughs> okay thank you all for your time and um, hope to see you in two weeks then I will be back on my normal time so I know it's really uh, a weird time now <laughs> so well okay i'm wishing you a lovely evening and thank you for joining me and bedankt for het kijken con and henny <laughs> see you next time bye bye